Hi, my name is Erica Neighbors, and these are the six principles of naturopathic medicine. Do you ever look out to the horizon and wonder, where do I go from here? Which is my direction? And then, as if out of a misty fog appears a guiding light, deep within our hearts it's been, always present, always true, merely undefined to our consciousness at first, but now unveiled to reveal a clear vision of life, truth, compassion, direction and purpose. This is our medicine, cradled softly in our hands, and this is who we are. Prima non nocere. Our first intention is to do no harm, to comfort the sick and heal the wounded without inflicting further pain or suffering, to provide the most effective health care deemed necessary, be it physical, mental, or emotional. For the human organism, as every existing organism, is an intricate and spectacular system, deserving of optimal care without insult and without neglect. There's no place for aggressive treatment, only gentle and by times persistent guidance, such that our being might discover its own path back to health. For we know that this intricacy which we identify as self is perfectly capable of conducting its own magnum opus, once tuned back into harmony with the symphony of life which surrounds it. Vis medicatrix naturae. We recognize, we honor, we respect the healing power of nature. She is wondrous in her magnificent complexity, and she is to be admired and revered for her innate intelligence. She is seen in all that is living and non-living. She exists in each our own being's desire and inherent capability to restore itself to wholeness and health. It is our privilege then, as naturopathic physicians, to facilitate nature's guiding hand, and then to watch in awe as she intricately reassembles well-being. Tola totam, tola causam. We treat each individual as they are, a whole person, and not as they present merely a collection of symptoms. We consider every aspect of the individual before us to the neglect of no significant detail. For symptoms alone do not define the cause of imbalance, only by construction of a complete picture drawing on historical physical, mental, and emotional incident. Only then can we hope to unearth the root of the problem and consequently strive to identify and remove the affecting cause of illness. Elimination or suppression of symptoms which act as warning signs will only serve to drive the illness deeper. Restoration of balance can only be achieved by addressing and adjusting each aspect of the individual's life which has been thrown into turmoil. Principi Zobsta, resist the beginnings. Prevent disease before it ever finds opportunity to take root. And what better way to prevent disease but to promote health? Health is balance. Thus, balance must exist in all that we are, in everything that we do and throughout the world in which we live and the life that we create. Naturopathic physicians inspire health by living the example. And the greater the inspiration of balance, the more prominent is the inevitable outcome of disease prevention. Docere. Our purpose is to teach, but also to learn. We join our patients on a journey of collaborative discovery, and in so doing, we humble ourselves to a position of counsel and guidance, one in which we strive to educate, inspire, and encourage self-responsibility for health, and one in which our patients might trust in us for continued support along their road to wellness. After all, who are we, if not a compilation of that which we learn from all that surrounds us? To learn is then to teach, and to share knowledge is to grow in self and in community with others. We are a gifted species in various ways, but isolated we are not. Nor are we superior to the rest of life which thrives around us. As teachers of wholeness, we must strive to awaken the realization of interconnectedness, that human existence is symbiotically dependent on the healthy and prosperous existence of all other life forms that surround us. Only by awareness of this reality can true wellness be achieved for body, mind, and spirit, for family, community, and the greater global and universal existence.